Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Alex. So today we're cooking for HelloFresh. I genuinely just want to like hang out with you guys and cook. Maybe you guys can put this on while you're cooking. Unless hearing different ingredients while you're cooking will make you confused, because that would probably happen to me. We're doing another HelloFresh today. I love HelloFresh because it helps me cook. I'm not a great cook. I am learning. I get better. I get better every time we do one of these. It kind of just helps me shape up to be a better chef. So today we're going to be making another HelloFresh meal. If you want to watch previous ones, I've done them a bunch of times. I'm sure they'll be on the internet for you. They are. We should do our thumbnail right now. Yep, that's it. That's the golden ticket. So anywho, I have my pamphlet up here. So I love HelloFresh. It comes super easy in this big package in the mail with like ice in the bottom. So if you come home late from work, it'll still be good. So inside you get your apron. There's like a bunch of different meal option plans, like how many you want per week for how many people. Um, I get the three meals per week for two people and it comes with these directions. They also have like vegetarian options. Um, so you have a lot of options on the site, but it comes with little really easy pamphlets with like how it looks on the front and step-by-step -step directions, your calories, like what comes with it. Um, so this time I got sizzling southwestern chicken, which sounds bomb, um, pineapple pork chops, and meatloaf, meatloaf, <laughs> meatloaf a la mom with roasted root veggies and thyme gravy. So I want to make this one. It looks like cozy. It's like a cold day. I have my candle lit. It's just a nice cozy evening. So we're going to make this one. I just love Hello Fresh. We're going to cook. So um, it's really cute. They come in these little bags or ingredients for each meal. So this one just, it's labeled. And it also comes with the meat. So we have our ground beef right here. So like I said, it's super easy. Step-by-step -step instructions. It usually takes about 30 minutes, which is easy breezy beautiful and since everything comes like pre-portioned for how much you'll need there's no waste which you know is great as well because you know you don't always need like a whole thing of garlic or a whole giant bag of carrots for one meal so um, I like that it's all pre-portioned and it all comes out to be less than ten dollars a meal which is pretty darn good and you guys can get thirty dollars off your first week of HelloFresh using the code down below in the description box and the code fearless30 so it's definitely worth checking out especially with that coupon code so enough chitter chatter let's get cooking so super easy to read okay step one preheat and prep wash and dry all your produce preheat the oven to 440 degrees I can do that 450 degrees then we have to mince and grate the mince or grate the garlic half and peel the shallot grate one half with a box grater into a medium bowl chop the thyme leaves have the carrots peel the potatoes so we're making them kind of look like french fries here Ooh, fun. And we're going to roast them with olive oil. I also have like a splinter on the bottom of my foot and it might be literal torture. <laughs> potatoes and carrots in the oven so now I'm gonna just mix up the meatloaf mix and throw it in the oven with the veggies after seven to eight minutes so they'll bake at the same time this is so easy so far so now I'm literally just going to combine as it says here panko ground beef half the thyme garlic and a few dashes of salt and pepper with the shallot that I had grated up earlier um, and mix it up and we'll throw it in the oven Now we have the meatloaf. 
loaf and the veggies roasting in the oven. So the last step here, like so simple, is to make the gravy. So I just have my saucepan ready. I'm not a super clean like cook. I like get stuff everywhere. So I'm not gonna be like a perfect beauty guru cooking all beautiful, it's just not in me. So we need to melt a half a tablespoon a tablespoon of butter in a medium pan or a medium heat. So let's put it on medium heat, shall we? All right. Then we need to add the minced shallot in the remaining bits of thyme. Cook, tossing until softened three to four minutes. Sprinkle the flour, look how cute this is. All these little pre-portioned ingredients are so tiny and cute. Um, stir in the flour, um, combine and whisk in the stock concentrate, which we have here, another cute little package and half a cup of water, bring it to a simmer, let bubble until thick and saucy, three to four minutes, and then add salt and pepper. And then we plate it, wow. I'm telling you, simple. All right, how, how much butter? Half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon is not that much. And trust me, like, I'm 100% not a perfect cook at all. Actually, that wasn't enough. Um, so, you don't have to be perfect either. Like, it always comes out tasting good, even if you've messed up. Like, I've messed up a few times and it still is great. All right, so I'm just melting that down. I was listening to a podcast while I was doing this, and I love cooking and listening to a podcast. It's my favorite thing to do. Who's your favorite podcast? List it down below. We're gonna add the shallot and the thyme. Just gonna mix that up until it's soft. This looks like a whole lot more butter <laughs> than how much I put in. Half a tablespoon of butter. I mean, did I read it wrong? Oh, I didn't. I don't know. I guess it's not that much. Um, sprinkle in the flour. I'm going to keep stirring this so the thyme gets really soft. And we're going to add water in later, so hopefully, hopefully that will make it look like the picture. It smells so good in here. That thyme smells amazing. I just love this little packet of flour. So we're just going to start to slowly stir that in. Just going to kind of thicken it up. Now we're going to whisk in this concentrate. I actually do have a whisk. I am prepared. I'm going to grab a half a cup of water. So now we need to just like bring it to a boil, let it bubble, thicken up a bit. Alright guys, dinner is served. It may not look as pretty as the picture, but I'm hoping it will taste as good. So we have the meatloaf with a little ketchup spread on top and the roasted carrots and potatoes. So let's try it. This meatloaf looks pretty darn good. I was supposed to like slice it and make it look pretty, but I didn't. <laughs> Mooping! <laughs> turns into a mukbang. Mmm! Oh, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Literally turns into a mukbang. I haven't had roasted carrots in a really long time. It was delicious. A nice cozy meal from HelloFresh. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's perfect for like cooler nights. I even find that I bake a little bit more in the fall and the winter than like the summer because it's more like cozy. It gets dark earlier. You want to just settle in and cook. So that is today's video with HelloFresh. Thank you so much HelloFresh for partnering with me on this video. Uh, and if you guys wanna get $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, just use the link down below, promo code FEARLESS30. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye.